Good morning, church. Uh, my name is Michael James Peterson. I have the honor and privilege to speaking to us about communion and what the cross means to me. Over the past three years, the cross has meant different things at different times in my life. Um, last time it was, recently when I did communion about a year ago, it was just a really about my past and the wreckage that it had on it. But right now it means freedom and it's actually something that I went through in the past year. But just a little bit about me. Um, I'm from Ventura County, youngest of five. My mom's from the south side of Chicago, so <laughs> within that house she was not playing games, if you guys know what I mean. The whoopings were real. <laughs> Uh, but of course, uh, you know, life progresses, you're an innocent little kid, and sometimes uh, that happens quicker for others, and that, that happened to be me. Um, at the young age of 12, and again at 9, I was put into sexual situations with older boys that, that stole away my innocence, and it opened up my mind to just different things that a 9-year-old and a 12-year-old just shouldn't really know about. Um, and then as things progressed, my older siblings moved out the house, and it was me and my older brother, and my dad wasn't there, and so he became very frustrated and internally angry and so he would act out he would break things cuss at me and my mom and I felt like it wasn't right for me to also act out because he was doing that so I kept a lot inside sometimes he, there would be public humiliation at school with him and me and it would be he would call me Shamu and there'd be like 50 kids around and all laughing at me and so I dealt with a lot of internal hurt suicide became a constant theme of just I just wanted to take myself out because at home it was just too much no one at school really really knew I was always I was the class clown was a funny kid I was um, I was the one that no one would ever think that he would go home and just really ponder suicide um, but eventually later on in middle school all of that hurt turned me into a hurt person that hurt people I used to walk around school making fun of people, pointing out their clothes, and then that kind of dissipated for a little bit and then fast forward to sometime last year. When you see a volcano and it's dormant, you think that it's, it's not really aggressive, it's, it can't really cause a lot of harm. Um, but then there was a situation where my emotional tectonic plates were moved <laughs> and, and I began to erupt. And it was, um, last year was the hardest year of my life by far, for more reasons than one. And I, uh, there was earlier in the year things happened and later on in the year I was able to have a girlfriend, which was seemingly awesome. You're like, oh yeah, he's dating, yeah. <laughs> Only did I know that that type of uh, emotion would peel back um, that dormant layer and I became uh, that that hurt person was revived and I began to lash out again and in that relationship with uh, our sister Jasmine here whenever I didn't feel heard or understood it was emotionally nostalgic to my childhood and I would lash out I would speak harshly and there were times when in my mind I, I wanted her to lash out because that's what I knew that's what I was familiar with I was like well, I must want you to be mean to me so then I can I can make sense of this and I never, I realized I never really knew what love was. I didn't know what it felt like, what it looked like, and so I was simply a, a repetition of what I had been given. Yeah. And it wrecked havoc on our relationship and on her. And weeks after um, we broke up, I had to deal with that. And when I finally felt the weight of what I had done to this young woman, I cried for weeks. Um, just due to embar embarrassment, um, due to the fact that I had to really see that words really can tear somebody down. Um, and I had to understand that I was a hurt person that was now hurting people. I had become the very thing that I had so much disdain for and so much anger towards. And so recently I was watching uh, a, a TV show called Game of Thrones and... <laughs> And one of the titles of the, of the character, uh, she's a queen, but she has all of these titles, and she, she announced herself as, I am Daenerys, the breaker of chains. And that, was, that, that kind of threw me off a little bit, and it was really profound, because I was like, wow, that, that's what Jesus is for me. He's my, he's my breaker of chains, he, he sets me free. Um, I just wanted to share a scripture. It's in 1 Timothy 1.15. It says, Here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. 
of who I am the worst. I had to see myself as, as the monster that I was without the blood of Christ. That never once did Jasmine ever retaliate. Never once. And I had, it took God putting me in that situation for me to fully realize that that's the love of Christ. It's, it's not retaliation. It's not any kind of... Any kind of anything that I was doing. And it, it was it was it was mind blowing to, to see someone never budge and like I'm not willing to compromise. I'm not willing to not love you the way the Bible calls us to love you. And so I realized that that emotional volatile character I had that wasn't just with us, that was with my relationship with God. It made me think back, wow, when, when things got hard, I, I, w I was like that with God. I would think to myself, well, I'm gonna, I, can, I can watch porn and, 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 and be impure because, God, you're sitting me through a lot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that, that back from you. You're not going to put me in a place where I feel lower because that's what happened in my childhood. I was constantly felt like I was put lower, but that wasn't God putting me lower. That was him trying to purge that out of me. But I fought it constantly. <laughs> And so I had to realize that this was simply a physical showing of how my relationship with God was. My relationship with Jasmine, I was like, wow, this is, this is who I am against God. I retaliate against God. I constantly kill Jesus in our relationship because I feel like God isn't treating me the way I think he should treat me. And so in 1 John 8, 6, 8, 36, Jesus says, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And recently I've been able to experience the freedom of strength of, of walking with God. Amen. <laughs> um, to know what it's, what it's like to be patient and kind and forbearance. Like it says in 1 Corinthians 13, that's the blueprint of love. It's not what, what I grew up with. And so I, I had to really take a step back like, I'm not, and I made a vow to myself that if any future relationship, anything, I would never be that man again. And I'm not sure how God, I just prayed and was like, and I, and I was like asking God, I, I don't want to be this person anymore. And I would pray, I was like, while I'm sleeping, Holy Spirit, just do what you do. <laughs> Work through me, take it away. You know what, like, I'm just going to be asleep and you're just going to handle it. <laughs> and, God, and God worked a miracle because I can look back and be like, wow, I'm, I'm not that person anymore. And so to, just to sum it all up, right now the cross to me is it's freedom from myself. And I'm, I'm so grateful to God that he was willing to sacrifice his son so that I could be free from the slavery to myself. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, I just want to thank you so much just for this day, God. For second, third, tenth, hundred chances, God. That you constantly, constantly are thinking about ways how you can draw us closer to you, Father. How you are using our lives and people around us, God, to teach us lessons of Christ, God. To know you better, to know your son better, to become more in his likeness, Father. I just want to thank you so much just for this time to be able to share, God, and to just be able to share how much you transform me, God, and how much you're going to continue to transform us as a, as a whole, God, as a person, and as a movement, Father. Thank you so much for Jesus dying on the cross, God, suffering in his body, all of our iniquities, Father. We love you so much. We commit all these things in, in your son's holy name. Amen.